During 1992 to 1994, hundreds of pieces of fossilized bones were recovered, all from localities west of the Awash River in Aramis, Ethiopia. The number of specimens were over 110 and represented about 35 individual members. These fossils were properly studied and were put in a new species with the name Ardipithecus ramidus. The name ramid means root in the AFA language. Yes, that is what we are going to discuss in this video. It was first reported in 1994 when a team led by American paleoanthropologist Tim White discovered the first Ardipithecus ramidus fossils in the Middle Awash area of Ethiopia. The remains found during the years 1992 to 1994 were dental, but some skull and limb bones were also found including a partial humerus. In 2005, more remains of nine individuals were recovered from Asduma in northern Ethiopia and these mostly consisted of teeth and jaw fragments, but also some bones from the hands and feet. From the specimens found, Ardipithecus was found to have existed around 4.4 million years ago. This species was also associated with having a small brain approximately around 300 to 350 cubic centimeters along with a flat cranial base. From the specimens found, it was also noted that individuals of this species were upright walkers because the skull rests atop the spinal column, indicating the species was bipedal, although it probably walked in a slightly different manner than humans. But besides that, they were also really good climbers, which was visible from the elevated shoulder joints for reaching up for branches, long arms with long curved fingers and mobile wrists. Body size and shape of the individuals were quite similar in size to modern chimpanzees. The most complete specimen was of a female which stood about 120 cm tall. Although the body shape was more ape-like than human, they differed from living African apes in a number of significant features. The key human features include smaller diamond-shaped canines rather than the pointed shape as seen in African apes and from other dental features, it was concluded that Ardipithecus ramidus individuals were most likely omnivores, meaning they enjoyed more generalized diets of both plants, meat and fruit because from the remains, they did not seem to eat hard abrasive foods like nuts and tubers. The animal was also neither very thick nor very thin, which allows researchers to say that they probably also avoided tough foods. Coming to the environment, Ardipithecus ramidus fossils were found alongside faunal remains indicating they lived in a wooded environment. This contradicts the open savanna theory for the origin of bipedalism, which I have just mentioned in my previous video, which states that humans learned to walk upright as climates became drier and environments became more open and grassier. Carbon isotope studies of teeth also show they ate woodland rather than grassland plants. Well, that is all about this species. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and do let us know your thoughts on Ardipithecus ramidus in the comment section down below. For related videos, remember to check our channel out and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.